Cross the ring. The counter punch. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about this shit. Let me tell you guys this, man. David Benavidez's defense will be his downfall versus Canelo Alvarez. These are facts. I don't care what you say. You know, David Benavidez has hell of offense. But his defense is shit. A lot of people out there, they want to compare Dimitri Bibble's W over Canelo. They try to act like that's some type of win for Benavidez. That's what fucks me up, actually, y'all. You know? But it's not. Because let me tell you something that I highly underestimated about Dimitri Bibble. You're not quite sure a lot of us Canelo fans could agree with this. Dimitri Bibble has some underrated defense. You see how Canelo Alvarez... A lot of the shots was hitting the arm. Nothing is too. Dimitri Bibble, he knows distance. That's one thing that Dimitri Bibble do have is that good foot speed. Now you mean to tell me the person that I call Pitfall, Sandman, Quicksand, whatever, whatever the three you want to call them, Benavides, he's going to be able to pull off that same type of style. Like I heard people say, oh, he had Canelo all on the ropes. Letting off on Canelo. If David Benavidez is doing that, Canelo will be stopped. First of all, I don't know if David Benavidez is going to be disciplined enough to back on and back off on Canelo when he's on the ropes like that. And a lot of people have to understand that Canelo Alvarez, a lot of the times, he goes to the ropes on purpose. Think about it. Like, oh, this, this motherfucker, like, come on. Like, with Dimitri Bivol, me personally, I feel like with, with Bivol, Canelo got tired in that fight. Yes, he went to the ropes intentionally. But a lot of times, Canelo goes to the ropes, it's because that's easy counters. Even y'all God, Floyd Mayweather used to do that shit. You think... His opponents forced him to go to the ropes? No. He wanted to go to the ropes. It's two reasons why boxers go to the ropes. Yes, of course. This is boxing. Everybody needs a break here and there. To get a little break. And to get some vicious counters. Like you can off the ropes. But, let's going back to David Benavidez's defense. David Benavidez reminds me of like a basketball player or a football player that got hella offense but no defense. A Steve Nash. Not no fucking defense of a Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> this motherfucker Dave Benavidez is Dirk Nowitzki. Got all that offense, no defense to save his ass. Okay? When the hell have you seen Dave Benavidez not get hit? Like, he's a type of fighter, you know, he wants to take your hit to get his off. And that's the wrong thing you want to do against Canelo. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. Okay? Dimitri Bivol, his defense will be his downfall. And a lot of y'all can see this shit. You just can't say it. Defense is fucking trash. I mean, garbage truck juice. Alright? And not only that. Like, sometimes you know some people with whack-ass defense, right? But at least they got good foot speed. Or, you know, at least they have the ability to get out of the range of shots. This is why I can't wait to this fight happen because David Benavidez, his style, his crisp was coming early for Canelo. And don't get it twisted, I'm a little bothered too that... Canelo Alvarez won't just get pitfall Benavidez out the way. But the truth of the matter is, I'm not mad because I know Dave Benavidez is still young. I don't see nobody beating Dave Benavidez except Canelo. And this is why I tell you guys, don't get it twisted because I call 
bit of beat as pitfall and you know salmon and all this shit. You know, that's all banter at the end of the day, even though he's really pitiful. Oh, yeah, that's what he is. But I'm letting you know, I, I see David Benavidez is a good fighter. I always tell you guys this. But just because I got Canelo whooping your ass, it don't make you a bad fighter. Caleb Platt, Billy Joe Saunders, Danny Jacobs, these are still tremendous fighters. Okay, and they all could probably, I ain't going to say they could, I don't have a beat David Benavidez, but it won't shock me. This is boxing if none of those guys beat David Benavidez. This is boxing, okay? You're not going to sit here and tell me that David Benavidez easily beats everybody on Canelo's resume. Because at that point, you'll just be reaching. And that's one thing we're not trying to do on this channel is reach. So before... I hear you bozos out there talking about uh, David Benavidez, the Mexican monster. Canelo don't want no parts of the Mexican monster. Yada, yada, yada. And you always say he throw too many punches for Canelo. Canelo ain't never faced a sound like David Benavidez. Which is true to a certain extent. Because I see what they mean when they say that. David Benavidez is like an octopus. Well, I can't even say that because an octopus moves faster than fucking Pitfall Benavidez. So I can't even say an octopus. So I just say David Benavidez is more of like a he like an octopus that can't move. Because he stays in one spot and he'll throw them combinations like, like an octopus. You Shit. You'll be like, oh shit, this punch is everywhere. But the more you punch, the more openings. And Somebody trying to say that David Benavidez is going to be throwing so many punches that Canelo Alvarez, he, he can't counter that fast. Shit. Something has to land on David Benavidez. And I feel like when that shit lands, it's going to be, he's going to feel that shit. And I think he can back David Benavidez up. Or they're just going to be in the middle until somebody explode. Let me also say this. I, Cause I heard David Benavidez say this shit himself. He said one of my problems that I can deliver to Canelo is the body punches that I throw. Well, let me tell you this, Pitfall. One thing about body shots is that's the biggest openings, especially when you're taller than the person. So you have to come down and throw them body shots. Canelo could hit you with that uppercut, you know, them vicious counters and shit like that. You going downstairs. Going downstairs on somebody, it's a perfect punch, but it's your biggest openings. If you ever fought in a fight before, you know. That's why a lot of people don't like going downstairs. Because when you go downstairs, you take a big risk of being open upstairs. That's my thoughts, y'all. I ain't gonna get too deep on this shit. I'm out.